The 2015 Weber State football season was a year of big steps for the Wildcats, with more still to come. The year began with the Cats being picked to finish 11th in the preseason Big Sky Coaches Poll. When the dust settled, the Wildcats finished 4th overall in the Big Sky. Head coach Jay Hill returned for his second season at Weber State, and as practice began for the season in August, the Wildcats had a group that included 15 returning starters and 38 letter winners. Excitement was building for the season. The year started with another difficult schedule as the Wildcats began the season at Pac-12 member Oregon State. The following week, Weber traveled to Fargo, North Dakota to take on the four-time defending national champion, North Dakota State Bison. Eric Wilkes had a 100-yard kickoff return for a touchdown in the game, the seventh 100-yard return in school history, but the Wildcats dropped the game to the Bison. The next week was homecoming for the first home game of the season, and what a homecoming it was for the Wildcats. Weber State never trailed and rolled to a 32-14 win over Sacramento State and earned two Big Sky Players of the Week in the process. Sophomore Jawan Harrison was named Big Sky Defensive Player of the Week after recording three interceptions in the win, the second most in a game in Weaver State history. Senior place kicker Josh Kialamakia was a perfect four for four on field goals in the win, also tied for the second most field goals made in a game and earned Big Sky Special Teams Player of the Week honors. The next week was the Big Sky Conference opener as the Cats headed to Northern Colorado. Weaver State jumped out to a 31 to nothing lead and rolled to a 38-17 win over the Bears behind 122 rushing yards from Eric Wilkes. After a tough home loss to Southern Utah, the Wildcats sat at 2 and 3 on the season and faced a difficult road trip at Montana, a place Weaver State had in one in 28 years. Facing a tough Grizzlies team, the Wildcats were tied 14-14 late in the second quarter when senior Cordero Dixon picked off a Montana pass and returned the interception 30 yards for a touchdown to give the Wildcats a 21-14 lead at halftime. The Grizzlies scored the only points in the second half to tie the game and send it into overtime. On the first possession of the extra period, Trayvon Johnson forced a Montana fumble that Felipe Sitake recovered to give the Wildcats the ball. Four plays later, Josh Kialamakia knocked down a 37-yard field goal to give the Wildcats the 24-21 win. It's good! It's good! It's good! The Wildcats win! Wildcats win! Weaver State does something they haven't done in 28 years. In Missoula, Montana, they knock off the Montana Grizzlies. One of the most memorable Weaver State victories in recent school history. After their performance in the win, Cordero Dixon and Josh Kialamakia were named Big Sky Players of the Week. Off the momentum of the win, the Cats return home the next week to host North Dakota. Weaver State got off to a slow start and trailed North Dakota 17-3 at halftime. UND led 24-10 early in the fourth quarter when the Cats started their comeback. A Kialamakia field goal made it 24-13 and the Wildcat defense responded with a stop. On their next possession, the Cats scored as Jadrian Clark found Tui Satuala for a 38-yard touchdown to make it 24-19 with 7.46 to play. That's when the Emmett Tella show began. Tella forced and recovered a fumble and returned it to the 10-yard line. Two plays later, Clark found Cody A. Olsen for a 5-yard touchdown to put Weaver State on top 25-24 with 5.38 left. But Tella wasn't done yet. After a Wildcat fumble, Tella intercepted a North Dakota pass with 2.28 left to seal the win for Weber State. The Wildcats had scored 15 unanswered points in the fourth quarter for the win. For his performance, Tella was named Big Sky Defensive Player of the Week. The Wildcats sat at 4-3 and three overall and 3-1 and one in conference play with four games remaining. After two tough road losses at Northern Arizona and Eastern Washington, Weber State returned home to close out the season. The first win was a dominating 23-3 victory over UC Davis as the Wildcat defense gave up just 174 yards of offense, their fewest allowed during the year. The Wildcats never trailed and jumped out to a 20-3 lead at halftime. Freshman Treshawn Garrett had a career day, finishing with 152 rushing yards and two touchdowns. After a bye week, the Cats looked to close the season with a winning record as they welcomed Big Sky rival Idaho State to Stewart Stadium. Prior to the game, Weber State honored its 11 seniors on the team. 
It was the final game for Jalen Ames, Jonathan Carlson, Vince Coleman, Cordero Dixon, Grant Gary, Joe Hawkins, Markwell Holmes, Devontae Johnson, Josh Kialamakia, Shane Oliverson, and Justin Turner. And the Wildcats sent the seniors out in style. The Cats jumped out to a 21-0 lead over Idaho State and never looked back as they rolled to a 35-14 win. The Cats had two running backs, Emmanuel Pooler and Eric Wilkes, who both rushed for over 100 yards. And Jadrian Clark threw for two touchdowns as Weber State won its 15th straight home game against the Bengals. With the win, Weber State clinched a 6-5 overall record and a 5-3 mark in the big sky. As the season came to an end, 10 Wildcats were honored by the coaches around the Big Sky Conference. Senior offensive lineman Joe Hawkins earned first-team All-Big Sky honors. Five players were named to the second team. Senior cornerback Devontae Johnson, junior linebacker Trayvon Johnson, sophomore linebacker Emmett Tellup, sophomore running back Eric Wilkes, and junior offensive lineman Cameron Young. Five more players earned honorable mention All-Big Sky honors. Karen Johnson, Tui Satuala, Calvin Stain, Corey Thompson, and Eric Wilkes all were honored by the conference. Hawkins also earned All-American honors as he was named to the Walter Camp FCS All-America First Team. He became the first player at Weaver State to earn All-American honors in four years. Hawkins played in 46 career games at Weaver State and started the final 45 games of his career. Cats took a big stride forward in 2015. Now preparations are underway for the 2016 season, which begins September 1st at Utah State. Under Coach Hills and the rest of the staff's leadership, the future is bright for Weber State football. We are Weber. Oh, we are